hello and welcome to the video this is uh, OH58D codename QA I am flying the Taiwan variant and this is a very good mod by the explain community uh, you can get it free and uh, the DCS mod or DCS module will come uh, later part of this year uh, this has been a long progress so today I will discuss about the startup and I will make this very simple so without further delay let's jump into the cockpit so yeah, very few things uh, you have to remember before startup the starting panel is here the start button and this is the autopilot uh, yaw trim channels uh, this is our MFD and we have a little ignition key here the main main key and overhead panel we have the batteries uh, electric panel lighting panel and etc so first of all we will start with the battery and start decision fuel boost pump anti collision light and uh, that's it for now we can uh, take it down right now and and you have to make sure this uh, red uh, fuel cutoff valve should be all the way the forward position this is the correct position for startup and we will get rid of the warning tones by pressing this downward so this is it and now I will try to uh, start our navigational alignment you can do it by manual by putting latitude and longitude or by auto and I will make it first okay next up uh, we set our corresponding uh, Q&H and ADI backup ADI uh, check everything right do some simple bit test pass and uh, lighting test so everything is good now we may start our startup procedure by clicking this to the right the uh, horizontal position is the on afterward and then uh, push this little button idle reel and make this throttle to uh, little bit left okay so this will be our starter uh, position I sorry okay and now we may able to start uh, this thing so one thing is annoyed there is uh, we have to push start button until the n1 percent is got 64 uh, percent you can bind keys for it you can see the starter okay I bind key uh, for the starter like this you can also buy this thing uh, this thing is really related to we have to push all the way close the doors okay so I have to push the starter uh, until it uh, the NG percent has got uh, 64.1 percent I believe almost there okay this is the max and now I will uh, leave the starter you can see it's decreasing and uh, stable to 63.9 percent that is our idle RPM and now I will uh, put a little bit throttle all the way very slowly and uh, let's check it and stable down to 75.3 okay the aircraft is stable now and we will do some things here the ACGN 
and put this uh, ES and here button bus to from start to run then uh, turning on our lights and if you may um, need this he those heaters uh, you can turn that on IFF IR jammer on uh, we are pushing that because of uh, we have some uh, difficulties out there the SCAS system that is our autopilot or auto recognizing system for the cyclic smoothness and IR jam inoperated because of this jam IR okay so IFFL I didn't find this button uh, if you find that uh, it will be helpful for me so that is not a uh, part for our flight I just uh, explain it's not a combat uh, aircraft training games so this uh, is a fun fly game and I'll try to uh, make this thing uh, very simple uh, there is a four stream button uh, we will not uh, push this because if we do that uh, the cyclic and uh, our pedals got stuck you can see it's not uh, moving anymore now it's moving okay and now I'll turn the <coughs> search light uh, aka a a a landing lights beautiful sound here so this thing is uh, quite easy to fly if uh, just uh, need a little left rudder and uh, for flying helicopters in X plane uh, I took support from uh, uh, small plugin called uh, axis viewer you can see our all axis here and I will make a little trim down to the left and okay so pushing a little bit left left rudder you can see it's lifting off and one more thing I have to uh, discuss before takeoff okay that's pretty annoyed <laughs> yeah this uh, the VSD have a uh, hover mode uh, you can uh, counter the hover direction like this uh, let's show the demonstrate right now you can see it's moving backward we have to counter the line and make that center to uh, hover steadily can see now we are hovering flying helicopter is fun in both uh, X-Plane and DCS I love to fly them but uh, this uh, pretty tricky uh, for the time being for me uh, because we I have no extra radar pedal uh, I'm doing this thing with Logitech 3D Pro So you can see this helicopter is butter smooth in X plane 11 and uh, quite maneuverable, easy to fly. Push a little bit trim. Front trim. You can see how much trim, uh, trim I uh, got here. So now I am hand off, uh, no throttle, no trim. I make this uh, like the force trim. And I didn't find any autopilot uh, system for this aircraft. Uh, I just uh, holding the trim where it is. You can see there is just holding the trim by pushing this button uh, or force trim and I will retake this now and quite able to regain it so yeah it's uh, quite easy to fly and uh, it's fun and uh, now I will test uh, if it is uh, uh, synchronized with the 
built-in or the external third-party autopilot plugin I think uh, autopilot is uh, catching up 2000 feet holding VS I will take the right turn. Let's see if autopilot is doing the right thing. Okay, it's turning right. Mm, so, uh, the autopilot plugin for X plane, the, that is the universal one, is working with this helicopter. I think this is a very good mod, uh, pretty detailed, and you uh, so much fun to fly. You must try it. Thank you for watching. Hope I see you next time and please subscribe for support.